On tonight's episode of Boxing Legends, a hard luck story that ultimately ends with redemption and glory. Good fights, bad fights, legendary struggles that shall go down in the annals of history. I've seen them all. But that night, I bore witness to the extreme spectacularity. Yo, what up YouTube? It's your boy Bundles checking in with another episode of the Bundles Blunts and Achievement episode, bro. This time we're covering this boxing game I didn't hear about until like last summer. This shit called Don King's Prize Fighter on the Xbox 360, bro. How come none of you motherfuckers told me this shit existed? Nah, on some real shit, everybody was dig eating fucking Fight Night and Fight Night Champion. Nobody even brung up 2K had a fucking boxing game. And Don King was that nigga on the shit. You feel me? Like, nobody ever brought this shit up to my attention. But after playing this shit, I understand why. Well, like, first, for starters, if you're looking at the screen right now, the boxing roster is borderline kind of trash, bro. I mean, you got niggas like Kelly Pavlik and fucking Joe Calzaghe and Ricardo Mayorga and all that shit, bro. But overall, compared to Fight Night and Fight Night Champion, or shit, basically any of the boxing games made by EA, this roster is borderline ass, bro. And as you can see, for career mode, I'm creating my world-class fighter, Long Thing, the black bisexual Asian. Um, I don't know why I call him bisexual. I'm assuming in this story the nigga's bisexual. Just listen to him. He was open the door, he stepped right through. No, I hadn't heard of him, but who had? I saw him in a magazine or something. That was the first time. Oh, <laughs> well, once I got hold of him, it was green lights. It's destiny. An irresistible force against an immovable object. And something had to give, and give it did. Make no mistake about it. My boy knew that he would be tested. I mean, everybody was on some freak bullshit in the career mode on this game. You know what I'm saying? But overall, like I said, the presentation, the sound was all, you know, whatever. Way better than EA's Fight Night and Fight Night Champion. But now, we're going to get into, like, the actual gameplay of this shit. Does not even fucking hold a candle to any other boxing game. And seeing that this shit was made by 2K during the time that they were killing it with 2K, uh, NBA 2K basketball. Like, they did no wrong with NBA's 2K at this point in time. And this shit is just bad, bro. Everything feels so fucking slow in this game. Sidestep feels slow. Punching, slow. Uppercut, slow. Loading, slow. Inserting the disc, slow. Like, everything just feels so fucking stuck in the goddamn mud with this shit. Even after upgrading your speed stacks and power stats and all that shit, like, literally feels like nothing changes. Like, hell, even the impact on the punches, don't even, like, just watching it, you don't even feel it. Unlike with uh, the EA fucking boxing games, all those punches seem like they just fucking hurt. The, the fucking collision detection on this shit is not really that dope. Like, you will literally knock a motherfucker out punching behind his head without hitting anything. Like, that's really, really, really bad. Power punches don't look, nor do they feel like they're power punches. It's just, it's just overall bad. But I will tell you this much. If you're anything like me, after playing this shit for about two or three days, I actually got really good at it. So I was able to, you know, account for the slow punches and all that bullshit. Hey, you remember Keen Magazine from back in the day? You remember Bria Miles? You can actually curve her in this game. Check this shit out. Hey, it's me, Bria. So, that new club, Converge, opening downtown? There's going to be a lot of cool people there. Like, no, nah, no, thank you, bitch. I'm finna go to the gym. I have a fight to prepare for. I don't know. That makes me feel good. I got curved a lot. I get curved a lot today, so this makes me feel good. The mini games that you use to train um, are pretty solid, pretty fun. Um, they ramp up pretty fucking fast, too, to get borderline fucking difficult. I don't know, bro. Like, I guess if you want to say the training portions are, like, much funner than the actual fight themselves, you can say that, because I would more than likely fucking agree with you on it. Believe it or not, the training games in this shit are actually 
funner than actual boxing matches, which is kind of a letdown, but it's cool. Also, another cool thing about the story mode, like some of the fights are fixed or there are issues that happen in training, like you're hurting yourself and it, it makes you fight different. Check this shit out. You kid, this ain't right, man. I told you it's too late. We got too much riding on this. You got too much. He'll fight and he'll win. If he's good enough, he'll win. Hey, Don, where's your kid? Yeah, did he leg it, Don? He's training. Gotta train. Gotta keep his shine and stay dazzling. Sorry I'm late, fellas. Ladies, gentlemen, and members of the press, I have great delight in telling you about this fight between the champion and... He's no champion! <laughs> between the champion and the challenger, a spirited young man all the way from Malawi. The title is mine! Nah, you gotta use your fist to win one of these. No elbows. I'm gonna f*** you up. Boy, just like silver. This is the biggest fight of all times. Over 100 million people want to see you fight. This is the one that matters, the only one that counts. History in the making. Win this one and you gain immortality. Win this one, champ, and you're immortalized. Gain immortality, champ. Like I said, bro, as a boxing game, this shit has a lot of fucking personality. The presentation is actually really fucking dope. Um, voice acting, the, the fucking videos, all that shit. And it makes sense. It's just so fucking dope. Unfortunately, the gameplay just doesn't match it. It just doesn't match it. It's just not a fun boxing game to fucking play. Um, if you just try to pick it up and play... It's going to be way too fucking difficult. Once you actually learn the mechanics and the physics of this shit, it's going to be way too fucking easy. Even on the hardest difficulty, man. So, I don't know. To me, I can pass on it. But I also, like, deep down inside, wish 2K would have took another crack at this shit and put just a, a little work into it. Because this shit just seems super bare bones. But I really do feel if 2K put just... Just a little effort into this shit. This possibly could have been game changing for real. This would have really possibly been on par with fucking Fight Night if you ask me. That's just my opinion. But I really do wish 2K would give another crack at a fucking boxing game. So there is one thing I did not get a chance to try in this shit though. Is multiplayer. I didn't get a chance to try the multiplayer out. Um, I didn't have anyone to play with. Pause. I didn't have anyone to play this shit with me. On the 360 and it didn't appear that there were any players online although the servers for this game is still up so if you have it or you know somebody with it hit me up let's run a couple of uh you know sparring sessions and see what it is outside of that man like i said the game is just not fun if you want a boxing game, you tired of playing fucking fight night you want to pick up a boxing game i picked this shit up for like five bucks bro do i regret it absolutely not i fucks with it he showed us it ain't just about the punches you can land. <laughs> it's about the punches you, you can take. Digging deep down inside and getting every grain of soul you can muster and putting it out there all on the line. After all, it's a hard road to glory. And that's my truth, baby. So that was it, man. One shot. Don King's Prize Fighter. It's a boxing game that's not fun, but it could be fun. It could be so much more if 2K would have tried. It seems like they didn't try. But either way, man, I enjoyed it for what it was worth. And hopefully, sometime down the line, we get a, you know, another boxing game from 2K. I really want some fucking weed right now. But I don't have any, and it sucks. So let's get straight into these motherfucking achievements, bro. Lifeline! Lifeline! Where's me? Lifeline, you sh Where's? Lifeline! Alright, so at the one full playthrough of the career mode on Don King's Prize Fighter, we walked away with 547 achievement points out of a thousand, which isn't bad. Um, I think a lot of the other achievement points are hidden under the online gameplay. So if you had this shit and you want to play online, hit me up. 
Bundles BA, man. Let's get it cracking. Until next time, I think the next episode is going to be some shit I already beat. I don't fucking know, man. But like, comment, subscribe, share all that gangster shit. Be safe. Be kind to each other. Real shit, man. Life is short.